Can we just stop with the angry eyes? I get it. It's cute, it's interesting, sets you apart, but no, nope, don't even look at it. That's gotta go. I love this JL. Not only do you have the Fox uh, coilover suspension, it looks like um, a full RPM steering kit here with some memory metal aluminum. This uh, front bumper, the stubby bumper, is really rad because you have the super winch already attached to it. We got some aftermarket headlights on there and the wrap, check out this wrap. I love the color scheme of it with the worn wheels uh, and these side steps are really rad and clean and you can bang those up without having to worry about damaging your vehicle. This is a ridiculous jeep build i mean this thing could definitely handle some trails and this rear bumper uh really clean weston always does great stuff we need to do some work with them love the oracle lights on the back as well who wants some ice cream check out this jl 4xe that they've converted into a little ice cream truck that can pretty much go uh to the tallest trails in moab and serve some ice cream this is really cool um i don't know why but you know what sema What's better than one Jeep Wrangler? Uh, two Jeep Wranglers. Check out the Rubicondo, uh, which has another Jeep on top of it and a rooftop tent. I don't know how you get up there or how that works, but uh, it's definitely a freak show build that I don't know how functional it is, but I drive it, might as well. They do it in London, right? Same thing. Behind me is over 700 horsepower in a Jeep Wrangler. This is America's most wanted JK. This thing absolutely screams. One thing that you could tell that's a Hellcat and the AMW right there, you see a little, little Hell Kitty and you can even see a glimpse of it right in this hood scoop. Uh, this thing will go zero to 60 in just over three seconds. And I love how clean it is. Awesome color. Look at the inner fenders. Uh, America's Most Wanted does all custom stuff. They reinforce the drivetrain, the axles, everything in order to make sure that you could operate this successfully. And of course, in the back, we got the Magnaflow exhaust, the Capac exhaust on the 392 uh, and Jeep Wrangler. In my opinion, it is, I don't even know where it is. It might be coming out the side, but it's a really awesome build. I want to drive it. I want it. All right, I have the American Adventure Lab 392 Wrangler here that has some really cool features. First, you got the fender chop that is their custom product and check out their inner fenders. Super clean, I love their logo. Uh, we also have a light mount right here that allows you to get your light bar up and above your winch. But in the back is really where the magic happens on this thing. Um, first off, you got a little storage compartment. I love these versus the little, the stuff that comes with the factory webbing. This is way more heavy duty. Some molly panels to mount some stuff there. And then their modular system or their storage system is pretty unique and rad. I'm sure you guys have seen their stuff, but you got the dual access locking mechanism, 500 pound capacity, all uh, really high quality aluminum. It's really clean. If you are someone who has OCD and likes everything stored in a nice neat place, that is what you want. Check out this little water mount, uh, which is rad. They just think of all like the little bells and whistles that you need if you're overlanding to keep everything organized and complete. Plus, this little trailer is actually a uh, Jeep Gladiator truck bed that they're using, but they actually sell the chassis for it so you can build your own trailer uh, and obviously has enough capacity to mount just about anything that you want. American Adventure Lab always creates good stuff. Give them a like and follow and subscribe, I guess. I don't know. Go check them out. If you are still watching this video, we are giving away over $1,000 worth of Rome Adventure Gear products just to our subscribers. No purchase necessary to enter to subscribe. Hit the bell icon and leave a comment below on your favorite build that we have showcased and you're automatically entered to win. In two weeks, we'll draw the winner's names and notify you through YouTube. That's it. Subscribe, bell icon, you're automatically entered to win some awesome gear. We're at the Best Top booth with a two-door JL that is pretty awesome if you like two doors. I love these two fenders and that front bumper isn't quite as stumpy. It definitely comes out a little bit, but uh, overall is really rad with that worn winch. Huge Baja Pro uh, tires on here. This thing could get up and over anything. I think freeway driving might be a little bit dangerous, but I love these two doors. Super clean. Still keeps you and your loved ones inside and the prp enduro seats are gorgeous absolutely gorgeous uh this would be a great little cruiser something to tow behind a motorhome and go rock crawling on the weekends awesome 
or the Covercraft booth with a Deutsch off-road build. If you like aftermarket bras and accessories and car seat covers, this is the build for you. Uh, protect everything on the interior of your Wrangler with this. Besides that, there's not a ton going on on this build besides some tube fenders, uh, the Weston innerliner and Weston front bumper, and then in the back we also got this pretty sweet Weston uh, rear bumper. I do like how it conforms to the body, gives you protection all the way around, uh, and stuff like this is really rad uh, for Covercraft. Make sure everything on the inside is protected. We're at the Cover King booth and I appreciate a dirty Jeep Wrangler. We got Dana 60 on the front and the rear here with a PSC, uh, I believe that's a steering kit. I like this stainless steel little stubby bumper. You could tell that this guy, whoever owns this, does not care about getting this thing banged up uh, because he's not powder coating anything. Everything's stainless steel and clean. If he gets any scratches on it, he's not gonna have to worry about repainting it. We got some good rock sliders here. These Cover King door covers, uh, which are nice. So if something falls out, this actually protects it. Um, we got true bead locks. Uh, I don't know what wheels those are, um, but you can tell that this thing definitely gets dirty. And then the King coil over suspension all the way around uh, and the full size spare, uh, instead of hanging, having a bumper where all the weight is in the back, this thing is ready to go rock crawling by getting that center of gravity a little bit towards the center of the Jeep. Cool build. All right, we're in the Toyo Tires booth with a JL right here. Blue the Great artist out of Las Vegas uh, is painting this thing, his signature mummy look. Really cool, one of a kind uh, wrap and paint job by an awesome artist. Great job, dude. We're in the real truck booth with a 392 I guarantee you that you haven't seen before. We got the rugged uh, ridge front bumper here, a little stubby bumper which looks super sweet and everything seems stock including that Hemi until you start going back. We got eight seats in this Beats. They elongated the cab of the JL including these custom infab side steps. You got the tubular doors and enough seating for you and the extended family. There's some really cool molly panels in the back right here, and these wheels are rad. Rugged Ridge wheels, it looks like at least 20 inch wheels with some Toyo tires. Awesome build, uh, very interesting 2022 Jeep Wrangler 392. I'm in the Circo Products booth with a Jeep Wrangler JL that has some pretty cool tubular doors, um, and the side steps are relatively unique. I do like these uh, fenders uh, more so than the stock ones, but that's got to go. Can we all make an agreement? Can we just stop? Can we just stop with the angry eyes? I get it. It's cute. It's interesting. It sets you apart, but it's providing no value for anyone except for yourself. Just come on. Be real. No, nope. don't even look at it. All right, I'm at the Steinjäger booth with a really interesting product. I really like these fenders a lot. The shape of them is super aggressive, but still really cool on this JL. They also do inner fenders with the dimple design is pretty unique. It gives some extra airflow going in and check out these uh, brand new arm bar doors that can fit JL and uh, JT platforms. Clicks right into place right there. I like that, pretty cool and unique. Made in America, awesome company. Check them out, Steinjäger. This is not a Jeep or a Bronco, but a Suzuki Jimny. I freaking love these things. If you know how to get one of these in the US and actually get it registered, let me know because I am in the market. I just love the fact that this cute little thing uh, is a very capable 4x4 vehicle. And for someone who grew up learning how to drive stick shift, stick shift on a Suzuki Samurai, this thing hits really close to my heart. The Cal Mini booth with a little Cal Mini rack right here. Uh, I love this thing even the color i'll take any one that i could get uh pretty rad love those things it's a little nubbin it's a little, it's a little side light uh when you have cool sleek looking fenders like this you have to have the ability to uh integrate that turn signal and this is cute that's weird i don't know why i was flicking it uh the inner fenders are really unique and awesome air design does some cool stuff I'm not a big fan of the light bar. It's a little small for my liking, but this uh, wrap on it is really clean. I don't know what side steps those are. Those look pretty standard. And then uh, we got the TIS off-road deep dish wheels for all the extreme humans out there. Deep dish, so cool. Satire. All right, this may not be 
something for me, but I know some of you out there are gonna turn, turn and look at this and be like, oh my God, that's the most incredible color I've ever seen. Uh, very interesting rhino line material, almost glitter in that blue. Um, for a JL, I mean, you're either gonna love it or you're gonna hate it, right? Watch out. All right, this Jeep Wrangler 392 Hemi powered machine has a little secret underneath the hood, a Magnuson supercharger cleared out so you could see what you're working with. This thing I guarantee you is pushing probably close to 700 horsepower. In order to have that uh, and make sure you don't rip up all the axles, we got Curry one ton axles on the front and the back. Looks like 38 inch uh, BFGs or even 40s. How big are these? 39 inch BFGs. You got the Rockside Engineering side steps, uh, custom interior. This is one of the sickest builds that is definitely a sleeper because you wouldn't know that that is almost 800 horsepower. I'm in front of the Dynapro booth with an awesome little JK. I like this bumper, the Evo bumper. It's kind of square, but keeps a lot of clearance away for these tires. Uh, you got a little King dampener, King shocks, and then also these Magnum side steps aren't necessarily my cup of tea, but some of you guys might like it. Rhino rack system with a rooftop tent and Rome adventure gear cases on top. Nice little JT. Not sure how I feel about the spider eyes. Might be a step below the angry eyes, but it is a thing. And then you got the black rhino wheels that are deep dish, and you know how I feel about those. <laughs> Amp research uh, steps, really cool custom seats on the inside. And I do like the red and black motif. They went absolutely bonkers with this. I don't know what these are. I feel like they're steps, but also they don't really look like steps, but there's something. Oh, put your feet up on them. Ah, oh, when you're in there, you cruise with your feet up. I get it. All right, sweet. That's it. That's it on this one. We got a sweet JL here with, check out this Attica front bumper. You could take this bull bar off pretty easily and just have a stubby if you want. But if you do need a mounting point for some lights, uh, these are just little nacho lights. You could put some bigger ones on there. Uh, you also have the ability to put your uh, license plate on the front or take it off if you like. And then on the side, you got the anti-rock sway bar, the Falcon SP2 shocks. These black rhino wheels are sweet. You know, we love them. I think those are true beadlocks. Plus these side steps are really clean and also uh, double as rock sliders. I like these fenders as well. And a little pod light mount is really clean. Although I would like this gap to go away. Um, this rack is rad. You've got a little integrated light right there and brake lights on the back. That is really cool. I haven't seen that before. Attica 4x4 on that rack. And lastly, a Smitty built spare tire carrier and a rear bumper that keeps you up and away from everything so you have maximum clearance. All right, this CJ is sick. Definitely built for rock crawling and the paint job on it. I thought it might be a wrap at first, but you could see some of the paint chips. That's an actual paint job on it. Very similar to Lightbright Stepchild. Uh, but this thing is taking some beating over the years. I could see this at King of the Hammers of Chocolate Thunder ripping the night away. Got some KC highlight uh, lights on there. I'd love to know what's underneath the hood, um, but one ton axles like this thing is built and gnarly. At least 42 inch tires, some BFGs that have definitely seen some use. That thing is rad. We got a bodyguard bumpers JL here with a ridiculous paint scheme, if that's your cup of tea. Uh, we got some fuel off-road wheels right there and then um, bodyguard inner fenders, which are kind of cool. These fenders aren't terrible. They're a little aggressive, which you may like. And then the side steps that are color match are pretty clean. Um, a Sif Tuscadero, a Sif Tuscadero on Instagram. Behind me is an EV392 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Rubicon that is crazy clean. I love their front bumpers. I wanna do something with AEV in the future. Their lights are high quality. If you don't know, AEV is one of the best manufacturers of aftermarket and OEM products for Jeeps and Dodge and Mopar, and I think they do other vehicles as well. Uh, we got the Bilstein 8100 uh, American Expedition Vehicle that's actually a custom setup with the reservoir. Yeah, that's just for AEV, AEV wheels. This is just a really awesome build that uh, would cost a pretty penny if you wanted it, but I think worth every dollar. 
We're in front of the Hoonigan booth and we got a 392 Jeep Wrangler here. I like these inner fenders. These are the Nemesis inner fenders. Obviously, you could paint those or powder coat them. Uh, we also have the Terraflex bead locks, wheels. They got Falcon shock system on there. Looks like it's a, not the quick adjust, um, but overall pretty basic build. I just really like these inner fenders. All right, we got a sweet Terraflex Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Rubicon. Uh, 392 with that Hemi power underneath the hood. We got the Nemesis inner fenders, and this is what the Nemesis looks like when they are powder coated. Looks really clean. Now check out these wheels. These are beadlock wheels um, that aren't true beadlock, actually. Oh, maybe they are. Yeah, they are true beadlock um, with some Trail Grappler Nitto tires. Those are 42 inch tires on there. You got the Terraflex front bumper. I really like this stubby bumper, it's pretty rad integrated Warren winch and a really awesome wrap job, really cool Jeep Wrangler.